Hey guys, Michael Neff here, uh, Director of Gears Golf, and today we're going to do a short video on how to calibrate the room. First of all, when you open the icon on your uh, desktop, this is the screen that will come to, and you'll go to Setup, and then you'll hit Get Started. And what you'll see here is uh, the camera, the camera view will actually show up um, each camera, and this will this is basically how you would aim and focus the cameras at the beginning. Uh, for aiming and focusing the cameras, you want to make sure that they're aimed at the middle of the room and that you can see the full swing. Um, and you, you, want, you don't want to be in a situation where the club gets, um, where the club ever goes out of what you're seeing here. So <clears throat> again, you want to, and some rooms are a little more narrow than others, um, which makes that difficult. but most of you have labs that with eight cameras you can see the full swing so you want to get basically the center of the room kind of somewhere in here make sure that you know a player is standing like right in the middle and his chest or her chest is kind of like you know centered about right right at their chest and then have them swing a golf club and you'll see that that's done once you're done aiming and focusing you'll see this kind of panel here and what, what this is showing here is the visible objects. So these are like markers or stray markers or uh, the LED lights from the cameras, the other cameras. So we want to block that. Um, you'll notice here down, down here with settings, we have the exposure under cameras, we have the exposure at 100 and the frame rate at, at um, we want to, this is a 360 system. If you have a 240 system, you want to make sure that that's at 240. Um, for indoor, it's 100, and for outdoor, it's 50, okay? So basically what you'll do is we'll go in here and you press this button called Mask Objects, okay? And what that does is it gets down, gets the visible objects to down to where you, you can't see any. And then once, you're, once you do that, you hit Done Masking and then you're gonna press start wanding, okay? So then I'm gonna take this, try to get it to the middle of the room so you can kind of see me wand. Uh, this is the wand that we use here. And what you wanna do is kind of you're basically trying to wand the room wherever it is you're going to be playing, you're going to be at. So you want to basically be in the area where the club is going to be. And um, what you'll see here is that I'm just kind of going in a figure eight kind of fashion. And I'm going to kind of move around the room like this about that speed. I don't want to rip this thing around. Um, but you want to make sure that, um, you know, you kind of move around the room and make sure that you get good coverage. And I'm going to turn this so that you can kind of see the screen here now. And what you'll see is these little green kind of green things kind of fill up. So as I'm kind of as I'm kind of wanding, you'll see that I get good coverage on all these areas. So really, what each camera is represented here, and what I want to do is make sure that I get good coverage for each camera. You kind of want to wand up high like this and then you want to wand down by the let's see here wand down here by the by the ground where you're going to hit the golf shot okay so like if i look at the screen here camera four you know this is camera four right here this area needs to be kind of filled in a little bit more the rest of them are looking pretty good so i'll just go to camera four which is, camera four is this one right here, okay? And what I'm gonna do, basically, is I wanna, I kinda wanna wand over here and fill up that kind of camera, right? So this is a good wanding right here. So then what you'll do is you'll simply press uh, done wanding, okay? And then that will take just a, a second or two and it should take no more than 30 seconds. If you get hung up here and, you know, for some reason um, it's just not going through, uh, then you're going to want to restart the wanting. But this usually takes no more than a minute to, to calculate. And 
once you have that done, you'll see that you'll see a, uh, a big check mark that it was successful and then you had done wanding. Okay. Now you have to set the ground plane and that's what this little device is. Um, everybody that has a gear system has one of these things. This is how we know where zero is. This is how we know where the ground is. Uh, this is how we know where the XYZ coordinates of the room are. Okay. So what you want to do is put this down. I'm going to kind of aim this camera down here. So I'll put that right there. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to aim this um, to wherever your target is. And if you're using a TrackMan or FlightScope or GC2, it's a good idea to laser uh, these two balls right here with your target line. Gears is a little different because when we find the ball, wherever we find the ball, that becomes the new zero. But this, this tells us basically where the XYZ uh, coordinates of the room are. So once you kind of place that down, and roughly what we have is about a 50 millimeter radius to find the ball to wherever this thing is, okay? So once we put that down like that, I would be a little more careful uh, during that process. Um, but for this video, for the sake, I would just make sure that's, that's aimed really where you want it to. And you just press this button called Set Ground Plane. And you'll see that it's, um, if it doesn't find it or if for some reason it doesn't see the, the, those markers, you might have to adjust the exposure a little bit, maybe down a little bit if you have a lot of light in the room. Um, but generally speaking, that's usually what happens there. And then when, once, once that's down, you hit Done Setting Ground Plane, you have successfully completed the volume calibration process. That file now is inside of, um, that file is now, this room is now officially calibrated and uh, you're good to go.